In this movie, we continue to examine our font size options. Now, in addition to the absolute and relative measurement systems, we also have another way to set our font size, and that's through the use of keywords. Now, in fact, we have two sets of keywords that we can use. The first set of keywords is going to have a scale from XX small to XX large with medium being the same as our base text size. So we have XX small, X small, small, medium, large, X large, and XX large. Now each one of these keywords are going to change the size by a factor of 1.2. So if we go up from medium, we need to add on a factor of 1.2 onto that font size. And if we go down, we need to subtract 1.2. Now we're going to see how this compares in just a moment to actual pixel sizes, but that's basically the way that this works. Now the second keyword set that we have is a relative keyword set, larger or smaller. These keywords are going to change the inherited size so with the larger and smaller keywords, we're going to increase or decrease the size of our inherited font. And sometimes it's a good idea to use these relative keywords rather than trying to set our size that we see above because we just may want to have that particular section one size smaller, one size larger than what the surrounding text is. So by just using this relative system here, dealing with our inheritance of our parent object, it makes it a little simpler to change things because imagine if we had set it to be, say, large, and our base text is set to medium, then we change that base text to large. Well, the part that we wanted to be larger will still be large, but if we had used larger to begin with, it would scale appropriately to whatever it inherits from. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at a comparison of our keyword system, the approximate sizes in pixels, and for those of you who are familiar with your HTML sizes, what the equivalent would be in HTML. So first of all, we have the XX small, and that's about nine pixels. Now there's no equivalent to that in your standard HTML sizing. Then we have our X small, which is about 10 pixels, and it's size 1 for your HTML or a negative 2 from your base font size. Now for those of you who don't know anything about the HTML sizing, don't worry about it. I've just included it here to be thorough and to make sure that those who do know about HTML sizes can equate our keywords to that so they're not going to be totally in the dark about what happened to the HTML sizing. Then next we have small which is about 13 pixels and it's size 2 or size negative 1 in our HTML. Then we have the medium which is going to be 16 pixels and then size 3 for our HTML. Notice that there's no relative size there for the HTML that's because that's the default. Then we have our large, which is about 19 pixels, or size 4 with our HTML, or size plus 1. And there's also another keyword that is big for HTML, so it's about the same. Then we have our X large, which is 24 pixels, or size 5, or size plus 2. And then we have our XX large, which is 32 pixels, size 6, and then size plus 3. And lastly, we have a value that's not represented in our keywords, but is available in our HTML, which ends up being about 48 pixels, but it's size 7 in HTML and size plus 4. Okay, so that's a look at how our keywords kind of measure up to an objective standard. Now of course this may end up changing because if our end user decides to increase or decrease the font size it's going to shift that but it's still going to be somewhat relative to each other. 
Now, just like before, when we had so many options we didn't know what to do with it, we may have the question of which method should I use? Well, again, that depends on the purpose and overall design of your website. So, whichever fits in with the other aspects of your website, you should use. Now, of course, you will probably need to experiment with these and use the ones that make the most sense, but it is a good idea for you to get in there and work with these different methods and pick out which one makes the most sense. Now that concludes our theoretical look at font size. In the next movie, we will apply our font size to our project.